Brain rule number three. Every brain is wired differently from every other brain. I hope you're not squeamish, because I've taken the liberty here of opening up the cranial vault of my friend's brain. And we're going to explore in more detail this question. Now, please don't worry. Believe it or not, the brain has no pain neurons, so our friend here won't feel a thing. In fact, he can even be awake during this and it won't hurt him. Hey, pal. Hey, pal, wake up. See? No pain. Kind of like that brain jello you eat at Thanksgiving. The fact of the matter is, every brain is wired differently. All of us have language functions on our left side, but no two of us store our memory of language in the same places. With the use of electrodes, which can detect the firing of neurons in a given region as they're stimulated, we can literally draw a crude map of Brandon's brain. That map is constantly changing and being rewritten every day in response to his individual experiences. Brandon is going to help us reenact a fascinating experiment that was done on another subject in surgery to treat epilepsy. A series of electrodes were placed on this patient's brain and the subject was shown a number of pictures. While the brain will have a neuron that sparks in response to images it recognizes, the electrodes just happened to be placed in a region that responded when this picture was shown to him. Yes, strange but true. There is a Jennifer Aniston neuron in the brain. This neuron did not respond to this. And it did not respond to this. Just to Jennifer Aniston, who, since she was born in 1969, could not have come to him through evolution. This was a learned response, specific to the subject's individual experience, recorded in his brain, which had the net effect of rewiring it. Whether you like consuming American pop culture or not, if you've watched TV in the last 10 years, you probably have a Jennifer Aniston neuron somewhere in your brain.